All right, it's Mark Laughlin. I'm going to talk about physiological responses to life threatening danger. Now, this, a lot of this comes from my experience in paintball as well as my studies of Applegate, Fairborn, and Sykes' experiences and writings. Now, one of the first things you experience under a severe threat, a lethal threat to your life, or you're in fear for your life, is crouch. You instinctively crouch. It's a part of establishing a more stable position and maybe reducing target size. It's, it comes almost from, I guess, from our DNA, really. It's uh, not something, maybe I don't think we've learned it over a lifetime. It's something that is passed on from evolution. And the other thing is you do is there is a intense focus on the threat. Now, we knew this in paintball and, I, and, and, and of course, uh, first responders and, and military people know of it as tunnel vision. This intense focus on the threat, tunnel vision. You don't see anything around you, you see the threat. Your eyes go to the threat. They're not going to anything closer to you, they're going to the threat. Other thing is because of this big adrenaline dump, you get to where you have very coarse motor control. It's very difficult to carry fine motor movements, fine muscle movements, like precise trigger control into a high threat environment. Uh, now there's, I won't say that it's impossible in paintball, which is Maybe it's because we learned as initially when you play paintball, it feels like a high threat environment and you become accustomed to it and you know, you understand it's a game and you're not going to die. Uh, but you become accustomed to it and you do learn to maintain your fine motor control in paintball. And maybe there are people that are able to do that for real life, life threatening situations. But I, in my opinion, for the 90, maybe 8% of the people, in a real life and death situation, fine motor control is going to be out the window. Now this means uh, this intensity and this coarse muscle movement means is the grip on your firearm is going to be very white knuckle. Which uh, will be good for maybe holding it steady, but with that white knuckle, you're not going to have that fine trigger control. Also, there's going to be that auditory exclusion. It's really a part of the tunnel vision. Auditory exclusion is almost like your ears are only going to hear what's in front of you. You're not going to, it's, it's, you can practice in paintball, we learned it, was learning to break through the auditory exclusion so we could hear communication from our teammates. Anyway, this, so in these last, this video and the previous video, previous video we talked about the real world environment. In this video, we talked about the physiological response to a threat in that real world environment. So those are the two things we want to keep in mind as we proceed into how and the techniques we're going to use when deploying our pistol or self-defense weapon in defense of our lives. Look for you in the next video.